Seeing as science is all about discovering the weird and wonderful secrets of the universe, it should come as no surprise that sometimes it throws something out there so bizarre you almost think it couldn't possibly be true. A bit like Jules's internet search history. Anyway, seeing as we did this list before and it did really well, got loads of thumbs up and sparked brilliant debate in the comments section like monkey are awesome, I hate octopuses and earth flats, I'm glad we sorted that one out. I'm Adam Wilborn from What Culture, and these are 10 more science facts you won't believe are true. Number 10. The moon is moving away from us. Please don't go. We can change. I'm sorry we left flags, a load of junk, and 96 packets of human waste when we came to visit. We just didn't have any space in the boot to bring it home with us. Please. Yes, the moon used to be much closer to the Earth than it is today, and it's been moving away from us at a rate of around 3.78 centimetres every year. This is caused by the breaking effect of the tidal bulge that is, in turn, caused by the moon's gravitational pull. It is thought, however, that the moon will never truly abandon us, unlike my parents, as the tidal forces will get weaker the further it wanders, and it may eventually end up in a geostationary orbit around the Earth. Number 9. Newborn babies don't cry tears. As much as we might associate babies with crying and pooping and, well, not much else, newborns don't actually produce tears even though they make crying sounds. Keep it down, I'm trying to work in here! This is because they are born with underdeveloped tear ducts that can only produce enough fluid to keep their eyes moist and will only cry real tears after about 3 to 12 weeks. Number 8. In just one month, we spend more time playing Farmville than has passed since the invention of agriculture. In a month, 290 million people play Farmville and spend 105,878 years farming imaginary animals. And you thought this video was a waste of time. That is about 10 times as long as the period of time that has passed since the very earliest estimates for the invention of agriculture, or as we sometimes call it, real farming. What's more, real farmers don't send you irritating invitations every 10 minutes. No, I don't want a cow as a f gift, Auntie Mary. Number seven, scientists have concluded that the chicken came before the egg. Finally! Researchers at Sheffield University concluded that the chicken must have come before the egg because the formation of the shell of a chicken's egg is only possible thanks to a protein that is made in the chicken's ovaries. Right, can we move on to more important research now? Like whether dogs can look up. Number six, when you drink alcohol, your gut leaks into your blood. Part of the reason you feel like death and promise you'll never drink again after a big night is down to all the poop floating around in your blood. What kind of night are you having? Oh, it's the bacteria from your poop called endotoxins. <laughs> of course. When your body metabolizes alcohol, it produces a toxin called acetaldehyde, which damages the lining of the gut. This means that your body reacts as though it's suffering from bacterial infection and swells up, causing you to feel like you've done a few rounds with Mike Tyson and causing damage that can last up to two months. Cheers. Number five. Pompeii's residents had upstairs toilets. Considering a lot of people in 1950s Britain hadn't figured out the joys of indoor plumbing yet, according to archaeological evidence, also known as ancient poo scrapings, what a job. The residents of first century Pompeii were living the bloody dream. Well, until Mount Vesuvius blew its load everywhere, of course. Despite the fact that the eruption destroyed most of the city's upper stories, we've so far found 23 second-story labs used by the Pompeians. Fancy! Number 4. You see better when you're scared. As a lanky, specky ginger bloke, I can't help but feel I've done something wrong in a past life. Anyway, if, like me, you can't see a bloody thing without your glasses, I have the solution. Just be terrified 24-7 instead, and you won't need them. You see, when you're afraid, the pupils in your eyes get larger to improve eyesight as part of your fight or flight response. So just make sure every now and again you look at a picture of a clown, a spider, or your own reflection, whatever scares you the most, yourself and see better. Number three, the solar eclipses we get on Earth 
are unique in the solar system. We get total solar eclipses like no other here on Earth, and we all know, of course, not to stare directly at the sun when it happens, unless you're a complete idiot. <laughs> <laughs> By a staggering coincidence, the moon is about 400 times smaller than the sun in diameter, but it also happens to be about 400 times closer, making both objects appear to be the same size in the sky. This means that during a solar eclipse, the disk of the moon perfectly covers the disk of the sun, just leaving the shining corona, not that one, poking out around the sides. Nowhere else in the solar system will you see them line up so perfectly. Ha <laughs> ha! You, Mars. Number two, Da Vinci's random doodles show he discovered the laws of friction 200 years early. Da Vinci did more scribbling than my doctor does when I go for a checkup on my rash. The fact that he wrote everything in mirror writing makes it even harder to decipher, though. So perhaps scientists can be forgiven for missing the fact that Leonardo had discovered some important fundamental laws 200 years before the French scientist Guillaume Amonton, who was originally credited with the discovery. The little sketches showing an experiment with weights and pulleys is tucked away in the corner of a page of notes and was dismissed as irrelevant scribblings alongside a random doodle of an old woman with the caption, Mortal beauty passes and does not last. The mad bastards. Just draw that weird S like everyone else, Leo. Number one, we've put a worm's mind in a Lego robot's body. Oh, right. Right, the signals in the human's brain are a little too complicated for scientists to replicate, but a worm, on the other hand, that works. We all knew that. The Open Worm Project, yes, of course that's a real thing, has mapped the connections between 302 worm neurons and translated them into software. The software has since been uploaded into a simple Lego robot, and now it's rolling around thinking it's a worm. And that is how the machines take over. And that's our list. Did we miss any out? Let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And head over to whatculture.com now for more news, updates, and opinions. Check out some more of our recent videos whilst you're here too. Thanks for watching. I've been Adam from What Culture, and I'll see you soon.